I'm going to review this database design and share what I think is good and what can be improved. I found this design on a Stack Exchange post, and it's a database for a movie tracking system. There's a good description of what the person wants to do with the database, track their movie collection, lend movies to friends, and track progress. They also have the details on all of the tables here, so it's a good start. The first thing that can be improved is this diagram. It only shows the table names and not the columns. There's also a lot of overlapping of the lines. Let's transform this into an ERD. That's better. What else can we see in this design? To start with, it looks pretty well designed. At first glance, there doesn't seem to be a lot of duplication. Each entity has its own table rather than being attributes of a larger table, so that's good to see. One of the first things I noticed is a mix of char and varchar fields across the database and even in the same table. Using both data types can be confusing, because when you write queries or work with the data in the application, you can often forget which data type you're using. This makes it hard because char values have spaces added to bring the length of the value up to the size of the char field. To use them in WHERE clauses or display them on the screen, you need to use the trim function, which is extra work. If you forget this function, then your queries won't return the correct results. I almost never use the char data type, as varchar is sufficient. So I would suggest using varchar for any text-based column. I noticed that all of the tables have a primary key that is a char data type. Some of the tables have a composite primary key, which is a primary key of two columns. This is possible and one way of designing the tables. However, I would suggest using a single integer field for a primary key. First, integers are easy to join to other tables than char because of the trim issue. Second, I suggest it's better to separate your business value from the primary key value. This means the primary key should make no sense to the user and not represent anything that they need to see or enter. The comments on the Stack Exchange post indicate that the original designer prefers a text value so they know what value they are entering, such as blue for Blu-ray or ITU for iTunes. However, this can be achieved with a label or a description field. For example, this format table. The code can be the primary key and it should be an int data type. The format column here, which should be a varchar, can have the full name of what the record represents. When a user selects from a list, they see the format value. Behind the scenes, the ID is used to identify each record and link to the other tables, but the user doesn't need to see it. So that's one improvement I would suggest. For tables that have a primary key with multiple columns, like this movie format table, I would suggest having a separate primary key which is an int value and not having the primary key the same as the foreign keys. This is just a personal preference, as I think it's confusing to have the primary key and the foreign key in the same field. If you want to ensure the values can't be duplicated, then you can use a unique constraint. But this one's just a personal preference. There's a table here called Rents, which I believe is used to track which movies have been rented to other people. It's got the ability to track separate discs of movies. This makes sense to me because I'm of the age where we used to have movies on DVDs before Netflix came along. However, the status column here is a text value. I believe this represents whether a disc has been rented out or returned or something else. I would suggest using a lookup table for status, so you can limit it to a defined list of values. The design has used this in other places, so I would add a table here. There is already a table called status, which is linked to user movies. This seems to track whether a person has watched a movie or not watched it, or some other status. So given that the rental status is different to the watch status of a user, I would add a new table for this. You can call it rental status or something similar, and give it an integer primary key, and a status column which is a varchar value. You can use the same concept for movie discs. Add a lookup table and link to it here. I can't think of what status there would be for these discs, but if it's there, then use a lookup table. Let's look at the movies table. It's good that there are a lot of different fields in this table. It means the data is stored separately and not combined into fields. It seems like the data types may be too small for some of the fields. It looks like the varchar fields have a length of 128 in this table and across the whole database. I'm not sure why this length was chosen, but I think it may be too short for some of the fields. There may be movies with more than 128 characters in their title, 
so that may be worth extending. Same as plot. This may be a few sentences or one long sentence, so may need to be something like 500 characters. The image may be the URL or location of the image file, which will likely be longer than 128 characters. The score field here is a float data type. This is a kind of decimal value, but the way databases store float values means it can be imprecise. I would suggest using a decimal type or an int with decimal places depending on your database. This means the data is stored in the exact way it is entered. I generally avoid float data types because they are inconsistent and any calculations performed on them can cause issues that I just want to avoid. The duration field represents how long the movie goes for. This is shown as a time field, but I'm not sure if the chosen database vendor has this data type or if it's appropriate. I would suggest using an int value to store the number of minutes instead. It can be converted to hours and minutes if you want to display it that way on a screen. For the year released column, this uses a year data type, which is a MySQL data type. This makes sense if you're using MySQL, and I think it's a good choice because it's more restrictive than an integer. But if you don't have this data type, then use an integer. The movies table has a link to the genres table using a joining table, indicating that there can be multiple genres for a movie, which is good. There's also a category column with a lookup table and a type column with a lookup table. I'm not sure what is meant by the category and type, what their differences are and how they are different to genre. This is probably something I just don't understand, but if you have a design like this, consider the meaning of your fields and if you are duplicating something. Let's look at these relations tables. According to the comments on the post, these relations are for things like prequels of movies, or for movies that have the same story but a different period. This is a good way of capturing this. We've got a table that captures the combination of two movies and a lookup table to define the type of relationship. Another way to achieve this would be to use a self-join, which has a field in the movies table called related movie, and points to the movie's primary key. However, that won't let us capture the type of relationship, such as alternative or prequel. If you only had one type of relationship, such as sequels, you could have a column called sequel movie and link it to the movie. But I think the way it's been done here is good. Let's look at the user table. Based on the design and the other tables it links to, this represents a person that can rent movies and have a watch list and say they have watched a movie. Storing the password in a char data type may be an issue due to spaces being added, but I've mentioned that earlier. I'm not sure what the salt value is for. I know what it's used for when working with passwords, but I don't know why it needs to be stored in the table, so I would suggest removing it. I'm not sure what the rating password column is for, or what the rating pref is for. I notice that the column in the user table is called username, but in other tables it's called user ID. I would use one name in all places to be consistent. Or even better, add a primary key to the users table that's an integer data type, which is used to link to other tables. This way the user can change their username without breaking every relationship to other tables. I'm not sure we need this much information in the users table. It depends what we want to use it for. For example, there's a password field. Do we expect the users to be able to log in and enter data? If so, that's good. If it's only the one user to keep track of things, then we can simplify this user table. But it depends on the requirements. There's a concept here of the movie crew, with links to persons and positions. I'm guessing this captures the people involved in movies and what their role is. This can be useful, but I would question the relevance of this. I assume it's for storing things like actors and directors, things you may want to filter on, or search on, or see when looking at a movie. However, it may mean a lot of data entry when setting this up. So that's just something to consider. Another thing to mention is on this episodes table. The season num field in episodes is a foreign key, which is OK. It links to the seasons table to a column called season num, which is a primary key. However, in the seasons table, there are two other columns that are the primary key. I'm not sure it's possible to link a foreign key to only one column of a composite primary key. You would have to store all of the primary key values in the episodes table. A better way to do it would be to have a single integer primary key in the seasons table and link that to the episodes table. So I've looked around this design and made some suggestions. What would it look like with these changes? 
Here is the updated ERD based on the things I suggested. It has integer primary keys for most tables rather than char columns and multiple columns for a primary key. The data types in the movies table have been extended. The tables that link to the user table link on the new ID column and not on the username column. The salt value has been removed from the user table as well. The rents table links to a rent status lookup table and same with the movie discs and the disc status table. And finally, the episodes table links to the primary key of the seasons table. Let me know in the comments what you think of this design review and the suggestions I've made. If you like this kind of video, I can create more like it. If you'd like me to create a video for your database design, send me an email at ben at databasestar.com. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about database design and SQL, visit my website at databasestar.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.